Hey, Dr. Burke here. In this short video, I'm going to talk about soy. There's a lot of confusion. It's been marketed as a health food, but is it really healthy? There's two basic types of soy. One is fermented soy. Okay, Fermentation is this. When they add some uh, friendly bacteria, friendly yeast, friendly mold, and then through this enzymatic action, you create a new food that's a lot easier to digest in your body. So it improves the food and you have the also yogurt and cheese is fermented and you can even ferment um, other foods as well. But when you ferment soy in tofu, tempeh, miso or soy sauce, these are the foods that the Chinese have been consuming for a few thousand years. Okay, so they've been proven that they're acceptable to consume and um, the Chinese basically consume them in a lot smaller amounts than Americans. Um, they also have their genetics slightly different than Americans in that they can digest them a little bit better. In America, we don't consume very much fermented. Instead, we consume the unfermented soy. And there's not been enough studies to show the damage, but there's been a lot of studies that show that, I mean, that the safety of this, but there's been studies that show that there's very unsafe, even causing cancer um, and even tumors in your liver because... Soy, if it's unfermented, um, acts like an estrogen in your body. And there's been studies of mixed reviews, and I think this is where the confusion is. It shows that it's beneficial, the isoflavonoids, but then it's some, there's some negative effects as well. It increases estrogen and it decreases estrogen. So if it, if it decreases estrogen and also increases other types of estrogen because there's different kinds, then I would avoid it if I were you because I've seen a lot of bad things. Plus, the fact that it's not fermented, that means that most of the time, 91% of the time, it's genetically modified without being labeled. So they're allowed to uh, contaminate it with a lot more pesticides than you would if it's not gen uh, GMO. So that would be unfermented soy, would be the so soy powders, the veggie patties, the vegetarian meats, the fake meats, and also the soy protein isolates. These things are unfermented and very damaging on your body. So you want to be able to differentiate the two. And where do you find these things? They're in baby food, which is a huge bad experiment. They're going on kids because of all this spike in estrogen. And estrogen can affect you at the DNA level. It makes things get bigger. It can create tumors and fibroids and cysts and, and all those things. Um, but it's also in all the diet foods. Many of the main diets out there that offer prepackaged foods use this soy powder or soy protein isolates as their main protein because it's very high in protein, low in carb, but it comes with a package. It's very inexpensive protein. If, as far as my opinion goes, I would stay away from it. It's also in all those little bars that you get, the protein bars, or the, which is basically soy and maybe some sugar in there. So you have that and you have the prepackaged foods and you have all the different shakes and the baby food and the vegetarian meats and things and the soy milk. Um, all those things are unfermented. So again, this is a huge experiment we're doing in the U.S. We're consuming way, way too much of this soy and there's a lot of research. And I placed some links below if you want to look at some of the data about soy and the negative effects. So... It's okay to have fermented soy in small amounts, but I would recommend not doing these simply because the research isn't complete yet and there's too many negative effects on the unfermented soy products.